Hi everyone, and welcome to... For me, one of the problems about paper mache horse making sculpture is not only the amount of time that one needs to have in order for the paper clay to dry, but also the sort of um, stability within the, the, the horse's inner structure in order not to crumble afterwards like the one I have um, now I've made a horse uh, maybe last year you've seen it probably on my my Royal Dolls website and um, somehow I don't really remember if it has a, a structure inside actually but in, whoops, <laughs> instead of being straight, it, it sort of goes a bit on the sides, which is fine because it gives some sort of movement, and as the sculpture also looks rather victorious and pointing, so somehow looks like I've never been, I've never seen any horse rides racing racing before, but I can imagine that somehow when the, the horse sort of uh, goes around or turns around, it might just go a bit la down, like, like uh, when one is driving a, a motorcycle. At least I'm hoping. But anyway, and um, I think I've posted before, I've, I'm, I, yeah, I am working on two horses now, and uh, I did manage to buy thick wire to use as a structure for the legs and my plan was to attach those uh, wire structure on some uh, patterned legs in cardboard and then just fill it with uh, paper clay but again paper clay takes thousands of hours to dry and then I thought and I've seen this online on, on other uh, fellow paper mache makers um, and as I've been working on uh, this material for, for to make casts and molds so I thought why not filling the legs with expandable foam um, and then uh, carve it and from the and then just uh, fill it with or, or uh, covering with the thin layer of uh, paper clay. So that was what I did last weekend. So I have here already one... Ah, okay, so I attached the wire to a patterned uh, leg in cardboard and then uh, filled it with the uh, expandable foam. It's not finished yet, obviously, it's too thick now. But you can see already some difference. I worked on this one already, this one I didn't. And um, still has the wire, still has the the, the uh, cardboard here, you can see it here. The wire, of course, you can't because it's inside. And um, looks great, Looks, it was quick. Expandable foam uh, doesn't take uh, much time to dry, doesn't shrink, doesn't do nothing. Just uh, expands, and and it's lovely to to carve with a with a knife afterwards. And uh, somehow another positive point is that uh, I think I told you already. I'm living in a very small house, and my Fraulein is also creative person, and we live with four cats. But and there is no much space for, for much, which uh, somehow enables me to um, not to do much. Um, but somehow we managed to find some new places, so some 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 more place uh, upon my, our junk, and um, yeah, I have at least uh, space for three more. Um, um, mm, 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 equestrian sculptures. In the meantime, yesterday, whilst we were having a walk, I found 
something that I had asked uh, Father Christmas for a long time. This chap here. Say hi. Hi. This chap here, which looks like to be a rather expensive doll. It's plastic, obviously. But it's, it's not that cheap plastic. But anyway, I was asking one of these in order to make putty, those um, either Renaissance or Baroque kind of angelic sort of babies, I think. And uh, yeah, voila, it was on the, on the, on the garbage, just uh, not very far from the house. Um, so I'm, I have already uh, a baby, let's say, in order to make uh, putties. And yes, I am very pleased, of course. No, yeah, sure. It was it was really nice because it's it's a uh, well. It seems like an expensive uh, toy. No, it doesn't talk, doesn't do nada. But um, so the plastic is not that frail, so I can cover it with paper mache all around, and then do some cuts or or. Cover it first with some plastic foil, uh, plastic paper, no, plastic, whatever, or aluminum foil, and then use the paper mache all around, and then have the, the, but, the forms, the shapes, the whatever, whatever I mean, famosa, ooh, so it's famous already, so maybe through it, or by it, I'll be famous too. And as Christmas is coming, of course, Christmas angels, pooties, Cupid afterwards, blah, 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 in uh, November. No, Cupid comes in uh, February, isn't it? St. Valentine's? Anyway. Yeah. Um, I'll, 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 I'll be posting on, on my blog. I haven't been posting much because I don't really fancy working much. <laughs> Uh, my mind is uh, somewhere, somehow, somewhere else. And again, the small house is really crappy. Uh, if you want to offer me a bigger one, or uh, let's say five hundred thousand dollars, that would be fantastic. If it would be euros, even better. So I'll be waiting for your contact. Thank you. Namaste.